previously on Sakuna of Rice and Ruin. Now then. It would be a lie to say I never thought about it, but animal excrement's no cleaner, so... It is the circle of life. I think for us Yamato people, it is a symbolic act that expresses our views on life and death. Right. Indeed. I have heard that in the capital there are harvest gods who excrete grains from their mouths or buttocks. <laughs> what? Well, wait, so you- <laughs> I do know such thing! <laughs> What's going on guys? This is Bunzi and welcome back to another Let's Play of Sakuna of Rice and Ruin. So, where we last left off, we stormed the, what is it, Western Fortress, and we were able to defeat all the demons in the new area that we unlocked, only to find out that, like we all speculated, Ishimaru had taken over and he was controlling all the demons. So we had a boss fight with him, he turned into like this badass white tiger with a samurai sword and a, and a, and a giant gun. <laughs> but um, <laughs> if you remember what happened in the last episode, I even mentioned it while I'm fighting him. I'm like, I think I overleveled. Because uh, <laughs> that the, the fight ended like immediately after it began but it was still a cool fight um maybe i shouldn't have planted all that rice over christmas break uh, yeah <laughs> so anyway after we fight him we find out that uh he tells us like how he was able to um take control of the demons so basically what happened is, in the first episode, remember when we kicked him off the bridge of heaven? So he fell down and landed in, uh, on this island. Now remember when we have our, um, our nighttime dinner talks with the rest of the people? Tama tells a story of how, um, Sakuna's parents, uh, Lord Takaribi, they're fighting the demons and they're fighting a giant mega demon called Amazuchi. And Takariba. Uh, Takaribi and the Ashigumo were able to defeat Amazuchi, and Amazuchi like goes down under the w under the ocean and runs away. And we think he's all defeated, but he was actually like just there, storing up power, biding his time so that he could take control of the island again. So when Ishimaru gets sent down to the island, he finds Amazuchi, brings him back to health, and as a reward, he gives him his alternate demon form, which is the tiger, and gives him power to control demons, and now they're working together. After we kill... Well, we don't kill Ishimaru. After we defeat Ishimaru, Amazuchi, he wakes up, and then he just destroys everything and then also if you remember there was a part in the in the last episode where um t uh toemon the children and mirte they take in one of those little demon rabbits they see they see him he's all wounded they feel bad for him they and then they bring him back to our little village which was stupid because at the end of the game that rabbit brought all his friends and destroyed everything our homes our fields, everything was burned to the ground, and the volcano erupted, and toxic ash was just thrown all over the sky, which ruined the soil, and now I've been... Because my power comes from the rice, my, and my power comes from the land, so now that everything is ruined, I have major, like, stat debuffs. Like, I've been neutered. So that's basically what happened in the last episode. Uh, so anyway, guys, let's get started. I'll show you guys what I mean. Oh, a cutscene. Oh ho! If it isn't Ashigumo, you have recovered then? I'm much better. Mirte's treatment seems to have done the trick. I see. That is good news indeed. So, do you require something? A specter of my tribe has been prowling the eastern forest. It has not yet done any harm, but the Kappa stir with fear and unrest. Uh, not again. Here I thought it had met a fiery demise. If that was not enough to finish it off, then it must be a high-ranking specter with the ability to bend flame to its will. 
Ah, it must be the specter of Homer Subi. It kindles the grudges of the dead with an undying blaze, bringing forth death anew. Oh, we gotta fight him again? It is a powerful force of nature whose strength rivals even Nomazuchi's. Uh, what is the matter with this island? How many threats are we to contend with? I do not recall it being all that powerful, however. Omizuchi seized control of this land first, so the power of the fire god who came later is weakened. That would account for it. Thank you, Ashikumo, for notifying us. It was nothing, really. I suppose I shall have to take preventative measures in the forest to ensure our way of life here is not disrupted once again. Defeat the specter in the forest. Oh, so we gotta fight them all over again. Okay, check this out, guys. Look! Look at everything! Our home, the, the, the storehouse was destroyed. Everything is burned to a crisp. And then also, look at my stats. Look. Look at all these debuffs. Minus 25 SP. Minus 243 strength. Look at all this. So now I gotta find a way to, um... Where is it? Uh... The Lost Harvest Powers. The demon fiends have destroyed our fields, and my powers have been damaged in turn. If I purify the pollution, then my power shall return. But just what must I do to exorcise this evil? So, one of our subquests is to remove all those uh, stat debuffs. And, uh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I guess that'll make the game harder? So... I guess that's cool. Mm. But anyway, it's nighttime, so I probably shouldn't mess with any demons right now. Uh, am I full? I am not full. Alright, so let me sort these se uh, rice seeds and then I'll eat dinner and we can start off in the morning. Oh, yeah, also I unlocked. Um, I can start using uh, salt water instead of mud. Apparently that helps uh, protect my rice from diseases, which I haven't had too much of a problem with it, but we can use a little bit of salt this yeah. time. Salt it in. I wonder how much of a difference this will do. Is this okay? Did it sink a little? Okay. So we're done with that, and then in the last episode we already uh, tilled the soil and all that. Oh, but I did forget to uh, add fertilizer, so let's do that. Okay, let's have dinner. Oh, look at all the nothing I have. Oh wait, I don't even ha I, I forgot! I don't even have additional rooms. It's just this. Because you people wanted to take care of a freaking demon! Ugh. Okay. I give my gratitude for this meal. You also went to a country called Darka, correct, Mirte? Is it further west than even Nadit? Yeah, Darka between Nadit and Vatanya. You speak of the country that fought with the forest, yes? How does one even go about fighting with a forest? Fairy. It creatures similar to Ogre or Monster in Yanato. It's said they protect forests. Dark are called country that make gold. Have many strange arts, more than other country. Creating gold? That is certainly worthy of being called an art. That sounds like alchemy. In Darka, people create creature called golem to work. I'm very surprised by that. I hear the magician in Vatania too, but I never see. 
and Darka, the Many Magician. Kokoroa also made contraptions that move independently. Is this golem thing somehow similar? Just think that it is possible to create such a thing in the lowly realm, given how lacking it is in spiritual energy. Children of men are surprisingly capable. What else did you see in Darka? Tell us what kind of country it is. Yeah, Darka is small country surrounded by desert and ocean, but towns wealthy. Hot, cold change much depend on area, so many travelers catch cold and die. <laughs> in Amma Forest, it said you see spring, summer, autumn, winter, all same time. A rarity even in the lofty realm. Perhaps it is a land where spiritual energy naturally gathers. Food similar to Vatania, but darker people love alcohol. Oh yes, they said they use same tool to create golem and alcohol. Huh? They were made by the same thing? My head hurts just thinking about it. Goes to show you can find different uses for tools if you just think about it differently. Darka believe Alka teaching, like Nadi. We not able preach, but meet King Listine. He young, good seeming king. He work hard, make everyone happy. Now that I think, girl came to castle as we leave. The steam call her fairy. I think he mean just very cute, but in that country, maybe it really? In a country where arcane arts are used as a matter of course, I suppose it wouldn't be strange for non-humans to come and go. The steam loved that girl, I think. She's small, lots of energy, I also think cute. Something about this tail is giving me crane flesh. Er, goose flesh? What? You mean goosebumps? Me too. Ah! Oh, yeah. oh, good. Happiness. <laughs> okay. Rest until morning. Another cutscene! <laughs> uh, here we go again. Oh, is he about to cry? Oh, it ain't no biggie. Kaimaru, when you wanna cry, clench your fists! Hmm? Oh, come on! Then think of the guy you hate the most! That'll make you stop crying! <laughs> Does Kaimaru even hate anyone? <laughs> Who am I kidding? Kaimaru is the most powerful character in the game. <laughs> you saw how he controlled those ducks in the last episode? That dude's powerful. Looks like it didn't work. <laughs> huh? That always works for me! Kaimaru's gotta have his own way of pulling himself together, don't you think? <laughs> but I only know my way! Mm -hmm. Remain calm and teach him. Kaimaru is yet young. I think it'd be helpful to simply teach him that your method is but one option. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? You may not understand now, but perhaps one day in the future it'll resonate with him. Indeed. That is what it means to be a mentor. Huh, that's so? <laughs> I love all these cute random cutscenes between the characters. Oh, my fertilizer should be done by now. Let me see. Is it? No, it's not done. Alright, well... Uh... Oh yeah, my ducks are gone! Uh... So, am I gonna have to give you guys materials? I dug enough tools out of the rubble to still forge stuff. So what kind of weapon do you want me to make? Oh, you want me to make something? You can still make stuff? Leave it to me. Did you see that? Nice. What about you, Yui? What's this? A plum. Hi, goddess. Should I make something, goddess? Ooh, you got new uh, outfits. Nice. Wheel hunter's garment. I got it. Thank you kindly. 
Oh, uh, let me see uh, I make something what else? I need for everything else. Folding fan Kamiko, woven hunter's garment, bear leather Hakama, lunar hunter's garment, woven hat, soldier's hat. I almost have enough for all of these, so I guess just going back and forth between the different areas, I'll have enough stuff. Alright, well, Ashikuma mentioned a Spectre came back, so I guess let's go see what that's all about. Grove of Everlasting Gloom. In all the forests of Hinoe Island, these woods attract the strongest evil. Spectres drawn to its abundance of negative energy have plunged it into eternal night. Get Elder Elm. That's the only objective. Oh, there was a, um, a lower area somewhere. Uh... That's here. And I think this is poison, so... Aren't I? Mm. It, oh, it, it just diminishes damage. It doesn't like completely block poison. Okay, let me put this back on. Because I saw there's some treasure somewhere. There we go. I just notice how little it is. My health bar was almost the full screen last episode. I can't go up there.
Fuck you, bear. Wait, I see something. Get Elder Elm. What is this? The origin of all Yanato elm trees, nearly as old as the lofty realm itself. The quality of its wood is unsurpassed, but it is as rare as it is ancient. Huh. Tori Gate. Oh. oh, the water's poison. Get off me. Oh, I can just leave. <laughs> I don't want to fight any of you. Leave me alone. Oh, okay. Hungry. It's not even nighttime yet. Oh, I can't leave. the die so I think there might be a boss after this so I'll just come back uh, later why are these glowing
Vitality's Bounty. What is this? Power that ha was lost when demons ruined our fields. Spread it as fertilizer in your power- Oh! Okay! Oh, that's why they're all glowing! I have to go out to all these places to get my power back! Okay! Alright, how many of these spots are there? One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. So you just gotta find them. That's not too hard. simple. Alright, I'm about to die. So let me go eat. Ooh! Oh yeah! I needed the materials for the for the new um rice polisher. It, it's huge! Mm -hmm. It was indeed a considerable undertaking. Uh -huh. Whatever, just try it out already. Oh, with a simple press of my foot, the pestle! Commendable work. This will make it much easier to create white rice. Well done, Kinta. Much obliged. You are a great help as well, Ashikumo. As ever, you have my gratitude. Got it? Don't you dare fool around and break it. Woohoo! <laughs> Look at her go! What? Hey, what did I say? Oh! Awesome! Okay, well maybe we can uh, do a, a harvest in this episode and then I'll um, I'll show you guys what that can do. Oh, it said the fertilizer was ready. There we go. And how are the how's the rice right now? It's too late in the day so I can't plant anything. Oh, they're not even ready yet. They've grown quite big. Uh, they'll probably be ready by tomorrow. It's too late. Ooh, spiders. Come here, spider. Spooters. Uh, let me go around and see if there's any, like, frogs and snails and stuff like that. My baby! So sad. Why can't you be real? <laughs> I want a Sheba so bad, guys. I've always wanted one. They are so adorable. Although, although um, from what I've heard, they're like very independent. They're really like, um, they're kind of like cats. <laughs> but I don't, I don't care. I still want one. Like they're really smart, so that makes them real stubborn. So you gotta really, know, you gotta know what you're doing if you want one. Apparently, otherwise they won't listen to you. But maybe one day I can have one. Time to eat! No, oh, they don't this say anything. My strength! Ah, oh, seeds are ready to plant. Alright, let's get started. Oh, there's my pretty baby. 
planted them with enough space in between. All right, and now we'll fill up the water. There's already a weed? Go away! Oh, I was already at the right amount. There's already weeds in here. How'd that happen? Oh, well, it's raining, so I should probably have it at mm, 15. Seems good enough. What is that, a spider? All right, let's get out of here. All right, so now that I know why these spots are glowing, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna go and get all the stuff, and then I'll meet back with you guys in a minute, and then we'll go and see what this is all about. All right, guys, so uh, I'll see you later. Yeah! Alright guys, I finally got all of the, um, what do you call these things? The bounties? Oh, that took forever. That took like 40 minutes. I thought it was just gonna be me collecting them all, but a lot of them were hidden behind boss gauntlets, so <laughs> that's why it took forever. But we're done. Uh, I'm gonna check on my rice. So it said, um... It said we turn this in the fertilizer? Let me see. Power that was lost when demons were under field, spread it as fertilizer, and your power shall be restored, purifying the land of magic pollution. Got it. That's my rice. If I recall, when there are too many stocks, it diminishes the yield. Can I just add it now? Perhaps I should let out some water? Alright, let's hit, uh, ten hours. Oh, we didn't do them all. Hmm. Uh, maybe more will come back later. I went to all the glowing spots, so... Health, skill, strength, and gusto. So we need, we need those. Okay, well maybe, uh, maybe they'll pop up later. So let's, um... Oh yeah, I never equipped those new things I got. If they're more powerful. An iron? This is no farm tool, though it may prove effective for smoothing out wrinkles in clothing. An iron? Strongest thing I got. And I can release it. Enhances hidden power effects of garments by 5%. Alright, what about this? I can unlock this now. Inflicts 1.2% more damage against specters. And didn't I get a new... Yeah, I did. Wheel Hunter's Garment. A light sand garment showing a wheel cutting through waves. Those who wear these clothes will discover the ability to channel their spiritual enemy... Spiritual energy into their weapon. Oh. Enhances magic by 20.
Hmm. All right, let's see what this is all about over here. Oh, the toad came back! That changeling! Oh, why does it look like that? <laughs> and these flames. This is undoubtedly the same phenomenon we witnessed at the volcano. So, it was the Homosubi Spectre after all. Dealing with spirits ill suits my palate, but I cannot very well leave things as they are. Prepare yourself for divine punishment! Oh, if this is a specter, then I need that other thing back. unscathed. Perhaps specters are only as strong as the creatures they spawn from in the first place. I hope that this truly is the end of it. That floating light yet concerns me. That's enough! Stop trying to frighten me. <laughs> now, let us return and toast to our victory! Oh, we got more, uh... Oh, that, that was a skill bounty, so we needed, uh... That's the one we needed. Been a while, Katsuna. How are you in here? Wait, please, let me handle this. That is, uh, come on up and have something to eat. Oh, he's still like holding his stomach <laughs> at the at the end of the um, last episode when we defeat him. He he starts laughing like he won, and then he just kind of like hobbles off. <laughs> oh, so he's still hurt. What are you Seeing doing, this place Tomon? For myself has only helped make up my mind. You don't deserve to live. Ishimaru, we simply... Gotta say, this place is really something to behold, Katsura. Looks like you got a quality product here. Oh, yes. So even you can tell? Then by all means, serve yourself and eat up. A full belly and a good night's sleep can quell even the fiercest anger. <laughs> the samurai glories in poverty. I won't humble myself just for food. Why? Do you know how much I worked on that? But you are not a samurai. <sighs> you must stop acting as if you are still at war. It's true that the lowly realm was hellish. Widespread hunger and strife sowed the seeds of endless tragedy. Even I, a deserter... Know the shame of failing on the battlefield and getting chased off by the enemy. I am not so dim-witted that I cannot sympathize with your pain. But that is exactly why you should now be able to find peace. Now that you have lost your demonic powers... <laughs> you got it all wrong. <laughs> totally, utterly, pathetically wrong. Hmm. I knew it. Guys like you aren't worth the air you breathe! You were the one always trying to act like something you aren't, fraudulent farmer. Wait, he actually can fight? <sighs> Do it, and maybe we can both go back to being who we ought to be. A samurai acting like a samurai, and a farmer, a farmer. No, that's not what I... <gasps> Baby! <laughs> no! Kaimaru! Watch it! Don't make any funny moves. Long time no see, Kanmaru. Remember me? <sighs> Ishimaru, this matter concerns us alone. Release Kaimaru at once! Oh, no, no, no. He's very much a part of this. He's the living legacy of our beloved boss, isn't he? It was too bad about the boss, really. 
I didn't want to kill him either, you know. But with that bull-headed stubbornness, it was kill or be killed. You can't save a single person with naive talk like that. Ain't that right, Kanmaru? <laughs> What's this? Can he not talk anymore? What a joke. Kaimaru! Ishimaru, open your eyes! There is no war on this island! No one here is starving! Toemon, I- <laughs> He's not listening! He's about to steal Kaimaru! Do something! Not all people can be saved, you dumbass! What reason is there for us to fight? Huh? What kind of nonsense are you spouting? You're the one who got in my way! Get out of my way. I'm done for today. Pathetic as it all may be, I have my pride. Ashigumo, do something! I'll come for you as many times as it takes, no matter what I have to do. Let Kaimaru go, says the man with one hand on his blade. Don't you see what you need to do? What's with the... Damn it! Let me go! Kaimaru! What was that? I'll pursue him. Kaimaru! Kaimaru, hold on! Mirte! What did he- wait, what? He just picked him up- what did he do to him? What the hell? Oh, Kokoro is here. Yaya! I heard from Ashiguma at the entrance that Kaimaru had collapsed. So I dashed her as quickly as I could, but he seems hale and hearty enough. Kaimaru did not fall because of illness. His heart left. That is what it looked like. Aww. His heart left? What does that mean? Are you not also a doctor? The medicine I know cannot explain this. But that is what I felt, very strongly. Fascinating. What is the meaning of this, Kokoroa? I conjecture that they are all slowly changing from humans into gods. What? What? I see. Just as Lady Toyohana did. Yes. Exactly like Sakuna's mother, Lady Toyohana. Lingering in the lofty realm has ignited the unmistakable spark of divinity within their mortal bodies. I am convinced that something here is responding to their natures. Do you have any idea what it might be? You know, I sometimes feel like my smithing hammer is made of pure light. When that happens, I always make something extra good. If that's the kind of thing you mean, then I sometimes feel like my loom is singing. I... Somehow know a sickness that my medicine cannot explain. And I have acquired the curious power to consume 20 bowls of rice at once. <laughs> That's not a power! <laughs> That's not what we <laughs> And Kaimaru can communicate with beasts. Yeah, he's always been able to do that. I believe what happened is that in a moment of great fear, his heart became entwined with this Ishimaru person's. Thankfully, he seems to have avoided the worst. But if he had come under the control of the demon who corrupts hearts, he might not have gone back to normal. In any case, it is a relief that he is unharmed. But you all have come to hold power equal to that of the gods. You must learn to wield it so that it is not abused by others. Do not be afraid. If you have been blessed by a goddess as benevolent as Lady Toyohana, you are sure to flourish. What you will become is solely dependent on your actions hereafter. Hmm. <laughs> so we're all gods now? So, you've returned. How did your investigation go? I have searched nearly every mountain in both the lofty and lowly realms. I believe I know what we must do. Nearly every mountain, you say? Just how many are there? A few hundred? All told? There are likely 30,000 of them. The lowly realm is home to most. What? As ludicrous as that number is, I'm more concerned that you searched all of them by yourself. As Tawimon said, there appears to be a number of volcanoes 
spread throughout Yanato. I doubt that there is any soil that has forever eluded being blanketed in ash. Which means that there are only two types of land. Those that have recovered from the ash, and those that have not. Precisely. And those closer to volcanoes have suffered more, while those farther away have suffered less. This most likely means that there are hardly ever eruptions large enough to scatter ash over wide distances. All of which is to say that lands suited to rice cultivation tend to be farther away from active volcanoes. Hmm. In other words, I've chosen a real pickled plum of a spot to live. <laughs> Yet are we not goddesses? With my intelligence and your agricultural prowess, it may not be so poor a place that nothing will ever grow. Oh, feisty! Then what do you suggest? To summarize what we have learned, lands more suited to rice cultivation are only rarely covered in ash. But rarely still means it has happened. In other words, we can safely say that time will wash away any damage done. Time, huh? The flow of time. That is something we can manipulate. That is where the Orb of Transformation comes in. The Orb of Transformation? I've heard of the Powder of Transformation, but... The Powder of Transformation is shaved from the Orb. Oh. Because the Orb holds far more power, it is necessary to obtain Lady Kamuhitsuki's permission to use it. Then we must strike while the iron is hot. Let us go and treat Lady Kamuhitsuki. I keep saying her name wrong. I keep saying Kamatsuki. <laughs> it's Kamuhitsuki. Speak to me whenever you wish to travel to the capital. Uh... I want to see something right quick. So, since that toad came back... Did the other bosses I fought came back as well? Let me see if the map changes. Oh, yep. Ah, Should I fight all the bosses and then go see Lady Kamaitsuki? Just so I can get all my power back. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, uh, what is this? Cascade of Eternal Darkness. Upon crossing the border between the two realms, Amazuchi appeared from this waterfall, the tallest in the gorge. Spectres are drawn to the lingering traces of his negative energy to this very day. Thank you. 
right, we'll come back in the morning. Does Kokoro eat with us? Oh, <laughs> she's not with us! Still, that Ishimaru. He claimed he wanted to speak with Toemon, but then he became violent. That villain. It seems he had no intention of reaching a compromise with us. Who knows what he may do in this desperation that he has lost his demonic power. Oh, oh that, that was Toma. We should be prepared for anything. But the disorienting spell was broken in that attack. I cannot use my father's spell, so it is not safe to stay here. I know not what to do. Regarding that, Ashikumo set traps throughout each area. If Ishimaru or the demons draw near the pass or the Kappa's fields, they will be hoisted up and an alarm will sound. It appears that Ashikumo also feels guilty about letting Ishimaru go. Yeah, Ashikumo just stood there! <laughs> traps ain't gonna nab one of us by mistake, are they? They have a spell cast on them to prevent them from activating on us. Well, that's good. Still, though, it's kind of weird. Ishimaru's still hunting us, even all the way out here on this island. I'd rather not see him again. I hope he not commit more crime. Are you yet concerned for his well-being, Toemon? How naive can he possibly be? Though I suppose there would be no war if everyone acted with such compassion. I'm stuck. Hey, you! I mean, I get it, Tomon's a good guy, and he wants to see the good in everybody, and he doesn't want to fight nobody, but... Come on, man. Like, Ishimaru was about to <laughs> was about to steal, a uh, Kaimaru. The ears have appeared! Alright, let's see if we can finish that. Oh! What do you want, Kaimaru? Aww! Oh, right. Kaimaru, I shall rebuild the livestock pen. I assume the previous design is fine. Now go! Hmm? Hmm? Is there something you wish to change? Okay. He says he'd like to make it bigger and wider. Huh? Why? Do you wish to put the dogs and cats in there as well? <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, you do! Oh, uh, he, he, he said something! He's got an idea, so leave it to him. Hmm. Hmm. Very well. We shall see how this goes. I need more beast manure. Alright, Kaimaru. Since you're supposed to be the manure guy, uh, you go find me some. I'm gonna go back out here. There we go. No! There's specters here too.
soul stealing mask. Ooh. What's this? A mask depicting a foreign god with the power to steal souls. It has a strange face, is it not? Oh, it's like a it's like a tiki man. Increase the amount of EXP your skills received by 40%. Nice. I got a tiki man. Is it the turtle? Oh, it's the fish!
The scintillant light once again floats by. It certainly commands my attention. Uh, excuse me, princess. I believe that is its core. What? You should have said so earlier! It is your fault that I've let it slip by! <laughs> Preposterous! Come Preposterous! On. <laughs> A rather queer light, that. Have I seen it somewhere before? Health's bounty. Okay. So we got skill and health. We need strength and gusto. And then we'll be done. I guess we gotta wait for the day to go by for the next spot to open. What are you doing here? Oh, Sakuna. Recently, food is strangely going missing. Hmm. Did some mice get in? I don't see any animal fur or droppings, which means... Someone is helping themselves to seconds? Well, it certainly isn't me! It's probably Telemon. Correct, you would not hide your eating. Is that supposed to be a show of trust? Mm -hmm. Could it be Kaimaru? He's been kind of sneaking around recently. Speaking of which, I also saw Kaimaru holding something when he left with the dog. Is he keeping some kind of pet behind our backs? That is true. It would be a bother if he were to get into trouble and need saving again. Let us follow him the next time he leaves. Send Kaimaru out to gather. I already did that. What's this? Swift recovery acquired. Ah! You haven't found me any manure, Kaimaru. Oh, Kinto wants something. Now then. All right, time to rebuild the smithing shed. Shall I make it even grander than before? Racking my brain here. Yeah. <laughs> a hotter flame might be a good start. There was stuff I could make with the. Pre there was stuff I couldn't make with the previous forge. Mm. A more powerful flame, you say? What must I do to facilitate this? Yes, indeed. Change the charcoal and improve the airflow. In the capital, I can accomplish this using a mechanism called a black forge. Is that so? Can we make one here in the pass? Yes. I understand the design behind it, so creating it should pose no issue. However, we must use a minor alloy called obsidian for its fuel. Hmm. I have never heard of such a thing. It is not all that rare in Yanato. I have heard that it forms deep within active volcanoes. Uh -huh. Hmm. Well, luckily for us, one such volcano immediately springs to mind. I see it daily. Oh, right! It's decided then. I'm off to hotter climbs. Pretty sure I have it. Oh, I don't have enough. Team Kieran. Wait, what was that? It said Kieran Earth. Kieran's Earth and the Dragon's Tunnel. Hmm. Never heard of that before. We need more manure, Kaimaru's suspicious behavior. Alright, how's my crops doing? water do you guys have? A little bit more water. Tiny. Give my gratitude for this meal. Tama, you're a spirit at the edge of Hoshidama, yeah? Why do you ask all of a sudden? That's a pretty amazing holy sword. Had a sword like that break. Now that I, now that you mention it, if Tama is a sword, then he must have been whole at one point. A surprisingly astute observation, Kinta. I've only known his broken form, so the thought never crossed my mind. Mm, some things are best left unsaid. I was broken when Lord Takaribi landed the decisive blow against Amizuchi. I believe Lord Takaribi was attempting to cut off his head. 
but he shifted slightly at the joints and the blade stopped at bone. The impact when I smashed into the edge of his bone was what broke me. As a result, my spirit form also shrunk to this size. Oh, So it used to be big? Huh? You were large before? Yes. About the size of a tiger. Oh man, that must have been so badass! I hope we see that at the end of the game! R really I cannot even imagine it. <laughs> Tiger! I believe Lord Takaribi gathered the fragment of bone that shattered with me and presented it to Lady Kamutsuki as proof of his victory. A piece of Omazushi's bone, huh? If I made a sword with that, it'd be dang unbelievable. Absolutely not! You mustn't! So insolent! Prodding at one sore spot. I suppose we should avoid talking about that. Um, oh, yeah. oh, hey, <laughs> oh man! At the end of the uh, last episode, um, Thomas said that he would sacrifice his body to um, become the Holy Sword once more. I don't want him to do that, but I feel like that's what's gonna happen at the end of the game. So I, I hope we see his giant form, if that's the case. That'd be so cool. Uh, it's still sprouting, and it needs water. Oh, there's another weed. Oh! It's ready to harvest. I'll do that later on today. Alright, it said send Kaimaru out somewhere. I'll just send him back over here. Bye -bye. I am certain he entered this cave. My God, are you fucking kidding me? Now see here, Kaimaru, have you forgotten what that thing did to us? So why in the world are you? An apology is not sufficient recompense. We lost our house, our livelihood, all because of what you did. We could have died. It only turned out the way it did because. Princess. No, I'm on Sakura's side right now. What the? I mean, I get it, he's a baby. He doesn't know any better, but... Oh my god, you've been taking care of this thing? Then what do you intend to do? We kill it, obviously! Will you punish it? I believe I warned you about it back then. And yet my advice fell on deaf ears. But... but Tama! This demon bears fresh wounds. Has it perhaps been exiled by its comrades? Even though it was part of the plan, perhaps its familiarity with humans has roused the suspicions of the other demons. Mm -hmm. Mind you, that does not change the fact that demons will always be evil at heart. However, Princess, would you not agree that it has already been suitably punished? Uh, I guess. I mean, if it really wanted to, it it's had Kaimaru alone several times. It could have killed killed him if it really wanted to do that. I know. I know that, Tama. I know that it did not even come to the pass of its own free will. I know that it was only used by Ishimaru. Good grief. If it had just attacked, I could have made rabbit stew out of it without so much as a second thought. Worry not. I will stay my hand. Damn it, Kaimaru. In the meantime, you may as well eat this. I will never forget your transgressions. However, if the burden of reproach you bear is too much to shoulder alone, we can at least relieve you of our share. We will no longer foist the blame upon you. We will forgive you. So, live a bit longer. Let us go, Kaimaru.
What? <laughs> what? The surviving dregs of the Ashigumo, huh? I may look weak, but I still have a sliver of demonic power. You've got some guts to come alone at night. Ah, you're already dead. That would do it. Fine. I don't believe in karma. All that exists is strength and weakness. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. I'm pretty sure he doesn't die. Because that would be too easy. Alright, there's another... Oh, another spot doesn't unlock. I guess I gotta... I guess I gotta... Oh, I probably have to probably talk to Lady Kamahitsuki again. Alright, well, I'm not gonna try and f fight no more people. I think this episode's getting long enough. So we'll go to the capital, and then we'll harvest our rice, and then that'll be the end, end of the episode. Shall we begin? Yui, I shall rebuild the weaving hut. If there is anything you would like change, feel free to tell me. Yep. I'd like to try using that thread, but but the previous loom, it kept snapping no matter what I did. It must be very delicate indeed. May I see it? Okay. Sure, here it is. Mm -hmm. This is no ordinary thread. It seems to have been transformed. I would hazard a guess that its true form is not thread, but something else altogether. Where did you get this? That's, um, a secret. Yes. Now I'm all the more curious. Uh, <laughs> how now, Kokorilla? I'm sure it must have come from somewhere on this island. If she wishes to weave new clothes, what does it matter where the thread comes from? Uh, I suppose you're right. I lost sight of what was truly important here. This thread was snapping not because it is flimsy, but because spiritual power was not flowing through it. I see. If we create a device that uses amber and sends spiritual power through the thread, you should be able to weave it like any other material. What? I'll be able to use it then? That's great! Precisely. And if I add some of my signature gears to the loom, I think I can make work easier for you. Yes! Yes, your gears are a marvel of engineering! <laughs> <laughs> I will show you what a wheel goddess, no, an inventor goddess can do! Oh, and you would be so kind to gather the materials, Sakuna. <laughs> yep, I thought you'd say that. Please? I'm counting on you, goddess. Alright, I need more wood. But we will do that in another episode. So let's go talk to uh, Kokoroa. Actually, let me uh, harvest this rice first and then we'll do that. The more ripe they are, the more the ears droop, I think. <laughs> Is this okay? Now then, next is threshing. Are you ready to use the hand thresher? <sighs> that thing, hmm? At first I liked it, but as I grew accustomed to it, I found myself wishing that the teeth would just come to me. What? I didn't think you could possibly get any lazier, but there you go! Mm -hmm. The teeth coming to you? I think I could create something like that. Uh? Truly, Kokoroa? Yes. Yes, I'll make a wheel and metal axis, and then you can step on a plank to spin the wheel and transfer kinetic energy. 
Uh, run that by me again? Um, uh, let's well... cut this. Essentially, the wheel will spin because of the axis, and then another wheel will... Right on. Listen, if you're thinking of a contraption, you're better off talking than me. I'll be the one making it anyway. Understood. Uh, yes, that is true. Then I will draw up a blueprint. Can we leave you to gather the materials, Sakuna? Once you have them in hand, Kent and I will set to work on building the machine. Is that so? Uh, got it. I look forward to the end results. Oh, we actually have uh, the materials for that, but it is nighttime, so we'll just save that for the next episode. Let me have dinner. I give my gratitude for this meal. Okay, now go to the Fort of Undying Shadows. Oh No, my episode is gonna be too long if I do that. Uh, I actually wanna do all the battles before I do that, so... Actually, I think I'll wait. Yeah, I think we'll just wait for the next episode. So I don't want to have another two-hour uh, episode <laughs> I, uh, like the like last time. So we uh, we'll go and gather the materials so we can rebuild the uh, uh, Kinta, Yui, and uh, Kaimaru's um, little spots. Then we'll go and fight the last two specters. I think there's only two because yeah, we fought the toad, we fought the catfish. So all that's left is the. Well, if we're going to the fort, then I guess that means we fight Ishimaru again? And then, uh... And then what's next? The Hashirabi Spectre that we fight in the volcano? So I guess there's those two. And then we can go and talk to Lady Kamatsuki in the next episode. So I, th I think that's how we'll do it. Alright guys, if you made it to the end of this episode, thank you so much. Please leave a like and a favorite and a comment down below. It really helps me out. Have a wonderful day or night, wherever you are in the world. Know that you are loved, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye, guys.